to News in Depth for Wednesday, March 13, 2019. I'm Ramesh Jairam with the details. We begin tonight's newscast by telling you that President wrote GCOM calling for a work program to determine GCOM's readiness for the elections. Here is Royston Drakes with this report. The new U.S. Ambassador to Ghana said our aim is to deepen the relationship between the two countries and our peoples. This was after she presented our credentials to President David Gunter today at the Ministry of the Presidency. We share a spirit of community with dynamic expatriate and diaspora communities, and we both know the importance of fostering a multicultural society. As I begin my time here as the representative of the American people, I am impressed by the history of collaboration and exchange between our two countries. Together, we have blazed new trails in industry and commerce, fought to safeguard the local biodiversity, and made strides to improve the health and safety of all Guyanese. Ambassador Lynn said Guyana is embarking upon a time of significant transition and growth, and she was excited to be in Guyana for this moment in history. Guyana is embarking upon a time of significant transition and growth, and I am excited to be in Guyana for this moment in history. Your nation is poised to become a regional leader with unprecedented opportunity. While there are still many challenges to overcome, we remain committed to collaboration with the government and the people of Guyana to rise above those challenges and prepare for a bright future. Together, we can build upon the new economic opportunities developing here. The United States supports Guyana as you use your resources to invest in infrastructure, increase bilateral trade, diversify the economy, and strengthen social services. President David Gunter said the two nations are founded on mutual respect for each other territorial integrity. He said Guyana and the U.S. have enjoyed good cordial relations for over five decades. Fifteen Rosal Sugar Estate Martyrs Remembered. Here is that report. Today marks the 106th death anniversary of the Rose Hall Sugar Estate Martyrs. Fifteen Guyanese were killed during their struggles for better pay and working conditions. A simple but significant ceremony was held at the memorial site to remember those who paid the ultimate price. Government ministers Carl Greenwich, Dr. George Norton, and Dr. Karen Cummings all made the trip to pay tribute. In brief remarks, Minister Greenwich said that workers are now reaping the benefits from those who paid the ultimate price. There are many chapters in the history of Guyana's struggle and the laborers of Guyana's struggle for justice and acceptable working conditions and the recognition of the rights of workers. And the sacrifice of the Rose Hall workers is but one chapter in a long and extensive book of episodes that describe the experiences of the workers, their working conditions, and the reactions to their efforts to uh, improve those conditions. The 15 sugar estate workers were slaughtered on March 13, 1913, by the then colonial police. 14 of the workers were males and one female. They were all indentured laborers trying to protest against the poor working conditions and treatment towards them and other workers. Many more were injured and killed in the same incident, but these 15 workers stood out for their bravery towards their colonial masters. And today it is important that we commemorate their memory. It is important that we, rec that we recognize and we remember their struggles and how far we have come since then. 106 years after, we are still in a situation where workers will still have to stand up for their rights. Recently with Rusal in the sugar industry and many other places, workers will still have to continue to fight against injustice. We ourselves must be able to emulate their struggle and we ourselves will be able to stand up against injustice. According to Regional Chairman David Armagan, 
colonial masters were ordered to kill the indentured laborers since they wanted to protest for their rights as workers against the then colonial government. Hey, look at that. Let me go with the t- t- techie boots. Boots? No, my mama, I ain't gonna get a lack of teeth in them big stinky 30 second boots. Plus, it can be more cheaper online. And, then got my favorite color, pink. Let me go on. Online shopping. Cheaper, faster, better. Pass back. Horse racing fans, get ready for the first annual Triple Crown Horse Race Meeting. 27 races, two different tracks, with over $20 million in cash and prizes up for grabs. The first leg with runoff on Sunday, 24th February at the Rising Sun Turf Club. The action continues on March 24th at the same venue for the second leg. And the final leg on April 21st at the Port Morant Turf Club. It's a Triple Crown Horse Race Meeting featuring the top horses and the jockeys. See and be there. Presented by Jumbo Jet Thoroughbred Horse Racing Committee. I sell swaggerific, Spaniard me like staggerific, I Spaniard, drink a star, when the star give me a hand on the world place, turn up, turn on up, turn up, turn on up, stack up, turn on up, turn up, turn on up, stack up, turn up, turn up, turn on up, turn up, stack in a me hands now, hand up, hand on up, hand up, hand on up, stack up, hand on up, hand up, hand on up, stack up, hand up, hand up, stack up, stack up, tell them no. I don't business if you're not on time. You must always have stag in the line. Well, everybody have a stag in the hand. Where's my stag man's beer? Caribbean rice. From the lush rice fields of Guyana. Straight to your home. Ruby Rice, our people, our rice. Guyana! Guyana! Extra, Extra Beer, beer presents, presents the youngest and the hottest dance yeah, yeah, artist, yeah, yeah. Alkaline. Alkaline. We make it pass a little drama. When them all pull up themselves, we keep it calm. I feel like my gang conquer the world now. The Conqueror! The conqueror. Just done with. Live on Easter Saturday, April 20th, 2019 At the Guyana National Stadium, Providence Music by DJ Magnum, Gully Russ and Diamond David Hyde, DJ Fresh, DJ Damien and Andre Bobby Kush from Jamaica Super Ray, One Man Band Alkaline Live Alkaline Live Easter Saturday, 20th of April, 2019 Early bird tickets, $2,500 After $3,000 Stage front, $15,000 Stay tuned, tickets out soon Guy in a national stadium Providence <laughs> Ambassador to Guyana said our aim is to deepen the relationship between the two countries and our peoples. This was after she presented our credentials to President David Gunter today at the Ministry of the Presidency. We share a spirit of community with dynamic expatriate and diaspora communities, and we both know the importance of fostering a multicultural society. As I begin my time here as the representative of the American people, I am impressed by the history of collaboration and exchange between our two countries. Together, we have blazed new trails in industry and commerce, fought to safeguard the local biodiversity, and made strides to improve the health and safety of all Guyanese. Ambassador Lynn said Guyana is embarking upon a time of significant transition and growth, and she was excited to be in Guyana for this moment in history. Guyana is embarking upon a time of significant transition and growth. And I am excited to be in Guyana for this moment in history. Your nation is poised to become a regional leader with unprecedented opportunity. While there are still many challenges to overcome, we remain committed to collaboration, 
with the government and the people of Guyana to rise above those challenges and prepare for a bright future. Together, we can build upon the new economic opportunities developing here. The United States supports Guyana as you use your resources to invest in infrastructure, increase bilateral trade, diversify the economy, and strengthen social services. President David Guinter said the two nations are founded on mutual respect for each other territorial integrity. He said Guyana and the U.S. have enjoyed good cordial relations for over five decades. With that, we've come to the end of tonight's newscast. If you have a news story or tip, you can contact us on 698-2500-666-4337 or 618-6533. You can also visit our website at www.rdproductiongy.com. Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at Royston Drake's Production for more details on these and other stories. Join us again tomorrow for another edition of News In Depth. I'm Ramesh Jaram saying good night.